Keith, Keith. Keith Flint's just snuffed it, apparently. You know, the prodigy. Keith Flint, he just snuffed it, apparently. Well, I'm the fire starter, Twisted Fire Star. I better put the lamp on. Let me put the lamp on, it might make some more light. That might make some more light, doesn't it? I might actually have to sort of take the lamp shade off it one of these days. Might a little bit more light. Hello. You know, it was about, I thought Keith Flint died a few years back, but apparently, obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> I burst out laughing. I heard Keith Flint died tonight. And then I'm the fire starter, Twisted Fire Starter. And oh wow. I've got a little bit of a problem. I have, to, I have a couple of friends, very, very good friends. Uh, Lee Hill and Charlotte. Um, Charlotte. And, and like Lewis. Uh, and the council, whoever's in charge, so I'm Bill. Hello, I'm Bill. I'm very worried, actually. That's my worried look. Is that a bit better? I'll put that up there, over there a bit. Is that a bit brighter? Yeah, that's quite good. I don't want to spill my bed. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm a bit worried because um, under uh, apparently the, the 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 council are threatening to put Lee and Charlotte's children up for adoption. Um, Harrison is four years old, right? Harrison it, it, Hill is four years old, yeah. I know Harrison, because Lee introduced me to him one day, and when he was on his daddy's shoulders and stuff. And I'm very upset, and, and, and um, actually, um, Leland is about a year old, he's only a year old. Like Leland Hill, he's only one year old, learning how to walk. Now, a few months ago, apparently Charlotte got... Um, um, had had to go into hospital because mummy Charlotte wasn't very well. She had a bit of um, a problem with, with um, her uh, mental health. Apparently, you know she. I don't know what schizophrenia, whatever. Mikey had it too. My boyfriend uh, a long time ago had it too. Uh, I don't know. Um, she, anyway, she had a bit of mental health issues and she sort of asked the council to look after her children for a couple of weeks for a little while charlotte went up to the council and said look i'm having a bit of a mental breakdown for some reason you know she was having a bit of a problem with her brain with her mental health and she said to the council will you look after my children so that she could go into therapy because Charlotte went to Charlotte, she went to therapy to try and sort out her head. Yeah. So the council took the children to care, and luckily the council gave the children to the grandparents, Mr. and Mrs. Hill. Um. Anyway, yeah, and they've been there for about last six months or so, a few months, you know. And I'm very worried because now the council are threatening. Because the grandparents, they love their fucking children. The the, gran, uh, the grandparents um, of Lee, Lee's, Lee's parents, Lee's mum and dad, basically, Lee Hill's mum and dad, they've been looking after the children for, a couple, for about six months or so. Yeah. And now the council are threatening to put the children up for adoption. And I'm fucking scared now. Because the council are threatening to put these children up for adoption. Because like Lee said, that his dad's had two strokes. Okay, he's had two strokes and he still smokes. So what? So do I. 
Okay, but his good granddad, his great granddad, and he's looking after these children great, I know. And I'm very fucking worried because you're threatening to take the children away from the family. Children remember their grandparents and children remember their parents. And you are threatening now to take these children away from their parents and their grandparents. The council, because they, they don't think you're fit enough or wealthy enough to look after these children. They are threatening Lee Hill and Charlotte, Lewis and uh, Lee's parents. They are threatening to take the children away and they are threatening to put the children up for adoption so they get new parents. You are sick in the fucking head, man. I'm sorry, but you are totally sick in the fucking head. You are completely wrong. You are totally... This is only Bill doing this. Don't let Lee or Charlotte take the blame for this. This is my doing. Bill. I'm fucking angry. I am fucking angry at the social services and their treatment of the Hill family. Because Lee is a fucking good daddy. Lee is a bloody great daddy. Okay? Lee Hill is a fucking great daddy. Carries, he carried little Harrison around on his shoulders, man. He's a fucking great dad. Okay? And Charlotte is a wonderful mother. She loves her kids. She loves her kids a hell of a lot. And yes, Charlotte admits she has a few mental health problems at the moment. A bit of stress and stuff. Okay, so she asked the council to look after her children while she went into rehabilitation, when, when she went into hospital to calm herself down or whatever, what she needed at the time, yeah? But it was Charlotte who asked the council to look after her children, to take care of her children, while she went into hospital. So she went into hospital. She went into hospital, got herself sorted out, she got herself sorted out, and then Charlotte came out of hospital, yeah? And then, can I have my kids back now? She said, because she went through the treat, she had treatment or whatever. So she was healthy again. And the council said, no, you cannot have your children back. So the council will not give her back her children. Because Charlotte does have mental health issues. Yeah, maybe. Don't we all? Doesn't every human being have a mental health issue? Doesn't every human being... Isn't every human being a bit of a schizophrenic? You're praying to God for Christ's sake. Don't we all have mental health issues? But Charlotte loved her children so much and she was worried that because of her mental health she might not be able to look after her children so well for a little while. So she went to hospital to get herself sorted out on her own doing, yeah? But now you've taken the children away from Charlotte. But now that was only because she was, wasn't, was, had a bit of a head problem. But, but she sorted out her problem. She, hopefully. She, she went to hospital, sorted out her problem, came out. Now, if you really want to look after these children who love their mummy, she's a damn good mother. All right, Charlotte is a fucking good mother. I said, Charlotte is a bloody good mother. All right? Lee is a fucking good father. All right? He's a fucking good dad. And Charlotte is a fucking good mum. And they have the most wonderful grandparents who are currently looking after them. But now apparently the council health social care Social care. They want to put the children up 
for adoption. Even though they are being looked after by their grandparents and their parents when they get a visiting choice. Lee is only allowed to see the children once a week, apparently. And Charlotte is only allowed to see him about three times a week or something like that. You're taking the piss, man. Those children belong to their parents. I said those children, Leland and Harrison, they belong to Lee and Charlotte. Give the fucking children back to their parents now. Charlotte has sorted out her problem. She went to hospital to sort out her problem. What are you going to do now? You're threatening to put his children up for adoption. Yeah? Lee and Charlotte are perfectly capable of looking after their children. They love their children a hell of a lot. Lee and Charlotte love their children a hell of a lot. I would never let them come to harm. The point is, the only reason Charlotte put them into care was because Charlotte had a few head problems and then she had to and they thought so she had to get herself well to, enough to look after the children. But now she wants her children back and they should belong back with their mother. And then the council can visit. Instead of putting the children up for adoption, because that is sick in the fucking head. That is totally sick in the head. This adoption thing. Harrison is four years old. Leland is one years old. Right? Right. They love their mummy. They love their fucking daddy. They love their fucking grandparents. And now you want to sell their children. Put them up for adoption. What, you're trying to sell their children now? Huh? Charlotte is fine now. But the only reason she, she asked for help was because she was having trouble. Now she is not having trouble. Let her have her kids back. And the council could visit what real social care should be. All right, for six months. Let's say for six months, right? Instead of putting the children up for adoption, then the children are going to be fucked up in the head. Where's mummy? Where's daddy? Now, I'm your mummy now. I'm your daddy now. You sick fucking cunts. Putting the children up for adoption. Harrison is four years old. Leland is one years old. Now, you're threatening to put them up for adoption, you sick fucking cunts. You sick fucking cunts. They love their mummy. They adore their fucking daddy. Tell you what, if you want to keep an eye on the children and make sure the children are safe, give the children back to their parents. Give the children back to Charlotte and Lee. But visit them every other day. Alright? If the council is so worried about the children, I say give them back to the parents. Give the children back to their parents. And then every other day, or every day if you want, visit the family and make sure they are being, the children are being looked after. I said, give the children back to the family and make sure, and then every, every other day, or every day if you like, you can go and visit the family and make sure the children are being looked after. You are threatening to make the, put those children up for adoption. You are sick in the head. I'm Bill. I'm going to lose my temper if I don't stop this film. But what I'm saying is do not do that. Give the children back to their parents, you sick cunts. Give the children back to their mummy and daddy. Lee and Charlotte had nothing to do with this film. Well, making it, but it's Bill. And I'm talking right now. Lee and Charlotte are beautiful fucking people. 
fucking beautiful friends of mine. And they love their fucking children. And now you, council apparently, uh, social services, are threatening to take away their children. Harrison and Leland. Harrison's four, Leland's one. And you, the council, are threatening to put their children up for adoption to take them away from their parents and putting them into adoption when they have two loving parents, a mother and a father, and two grandparents, a grandmother and a grandfather. And you want to take the children away from their grandparents. And you want to take the children away from their parents. You are totally fucking sick in the head. I suggest you rethink the situation. I said, so I suggest you rethink your situation. I am God. What's left of me anyway. <laughs>